Hey, this is Gatorx, and recently Pokemon put up some unlisted videos just showcasing certain Pokemon following you in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And I mean, there's really not much to talk about because we knew Pokemon would be following you, but the big thing is Venusaur is shown to hop, and so now that's the meme of the day. Just so many people didn't really know that Venusaur would move like that. I mean, we have seen Venusaur in the anime, but it just kind of stands there and maybe walks slowly. But I guess if it really wants to get where it's going quickly, it'll hop. Here's the thing though, Venusaur and the Bulbasaur line in general has been compared to frogs ever since it first came out. Just because it kind of looks a little like a frog, I guess. And I always disliked this because I'd see the quote-unquote real-life Bulbasaur pictures and it would just be a frog with a bulb on its back. But the thing is, Venusaur has the sore at the end of its name, basically making it a dinosaur in a way. Of course, sore does basically just mean big lizard, so it could also be a reptile. And then there's the fact that it's just a straight up plant, especially with its Japanese name translating literally to strange plant. So what the heck even is Venusaur? And people have discussed it in various theories in the past before. A lot of them coming to the conclusion that it's some obscure prehistoric mammal or something. But I mean, at the end of the day, Venusaur is just an ugly amalgamation of a bunch of things. Mostly just being based off of the Rafflesia plant, which is an absolutely terrifying looking plant. And hey, that's what Venusaur is, except it's got a cool blue face. But it definitely is interesting seeing that when Venusaur wants to move quickly, it will hop a lot like a frog. And looking at the video, sort of pausing when he's mid-stride in the air, his legs do seem like they're shaped a lot like a frog's are, in terms of how they retract. I haven't really gotten a close look at Venusaur in a while, and I always just thought it kind of had the four stumpy legs. But you definitely can clearly see in this video of it hopping that its hind legs are a lot more like a frog's. So in the end, it really seems like it's now been confirmed that Venusaur does take some inspiration from frogs. Of course, the rest of its physical body, in terms of how it works, functions, evolves, moves around, is a lot more like a reptile and a plant hybrid, as it always has been. Especially with the way in which Venusaur evolves from a Bulbasaur. Other Pokemon that are more heavily based on frogs have more of the metamorphosis present in their evolution lines. Not necessarily all of them, of course, though. But who knows, maybe in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, we'll get an updated Pokedex entry that'll help clear some things up. But at the end of the day, Venusaur is just whatever the heck it wants to be, I guess. But let me know what you think. What is Venusaur, and how memeable is this hopping animation? Leave a comment below, and we'll continue the discussion down there. If you enjoyed the content, remember to leave a like and subscribe to show your support. You can enable notifications by clicking the bell icon next to the subscribe button. This will make sure you see each new video as it comes out, and will make you a member of the Chingling Squad. Anyway, this has been Gatorx. Have a nice day.